Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekend express love read from the 22nd to the 24th of November. I'm traveling at the moment, so I'm speaking a little bit more quietly and I have a desk, which is very exciting. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Let's get started with your weekend love messages. So weekend love messages for Taurus, please. Oh, straight away, we're getting, yeah, we'll read it that way. Okay, so that is the two of wands decisions some decision that's been made this weekend mm -hmm. another one mm -hmm. okay more on Taurus please okay mm. I'm going to take one more I think you feel like you've been uh manipulated or taken advantage of and yeah it's it's kind of throwing you off balance a bit um and you're deciding whether or not you keep this person in your life basically so it could be a Sagittarius it could be a Leo um but you're ultimately I think you're on to this person and you're doing a bit of I'm better than that with this strength card here um you kind of knowing your worth which is good what is oh okay there you go so I didn't even need to ask we'll just leave that there so yeah there's definitely you're starting to identify that you might really get hurt here particularly if this person is taking advantage of you or not being entirely straight let's get more on that magician what's the magician in reverse please what's the magician in reverse hmm okay yeah you just do you know what it is? You're actually not sure that you can be bothered anymore because I feel like you've you've seen this story before somewhere where someone hasn't been who they present themselves to be and then you get down the track and you end up hurt. And I think that you're trying to you're it's I'm very much feeling this is just going to end up exactly how it has in the past. And it's too hard and I just don't want to be in my own head about it anymore with this in reverse. So I think that you're right or wrong, you're, you're seeing some things in your person that you've seen in someone previously and it's got you on edge and that's probably why you're so unbalanced. What's the um, temperance in reverse, please? What's temperance in reverse? Yeah, yeah, because you're cutting things out without any emotion with the King of Sword or the Sword King. Um, you're trying to really distance yourself from making emotional decisions. Um, in fact, if anything, you're being too analytical about it. What's the Two of Wands, please? Two of Wands. cards again three cards okay we'll take that because it is particularly okay yeah you're afraid of making the wrong decision again because you you've it's taken you a long time to heal to get back to how you are you do want love but it's a risk and there's definitely some red flags with this person hmm. you want it you actually want it to work out but it's fear and I don't know whether it's founded fear or not. Let's see what the outcome is. What's the most likely outcome for Taurus this weekend, please? Mm. Well, you're going to get out of your head about it and make a decision, so that's good. That will be happening this weekend. Hierophant in reverse. So it may be that you decide to not commit to anything serious just yet and you continue to just get to know this person, which is nothing wrong with. Um, yeah, it's not It's not a... If you do let them go, it's going to be... Um, you're going to be very comfortable with the decision. You're not going to be feeling upset, lonely, sad about it. If you decide to cut it off you're going to be very okay with it all 
Um, if you decide to just get, get continue to get to know them, I don't know what happened then, I had a mini stroke. Um, <laughs> you continue to get to know them. That's what this four in reverse is about. Like it, you're not upset about it. It's a decision that you're, you're not canceling it out, but you're not committing to anything serious. Like it's not going Facebook official is what I mean. Let's do advice. What advice? These cards are buckled and they're driving me crazy. I don't know why that's happened today. They were in a very hot car today because it got up to 41 degrees. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, advice, please. Advice for Taurus, please, for this weekend. And this is my oldest set of cards that I've had for 25 years. So, they can't be broken. I'll be devastated. Okay. Hermit. Yeah. So you're definitely in thinking mode. Spirit is saying, look, make sure you consider your options carefully. Don't rush into a love offer. There's no need to rush, which again, wow. Did you see that? I dropped all these cards and that one flipped up. What else have we got here? King of Cups, Two of Swords repeating. Yeah, so absolutely. Um, yeah, take your time. Take your time here, right? Think about it. Don't rush into a love offer. Don't want a broken heart again. Make your decision and be sure that you're making a decision for someone who's worth it, a king of cups. So only be offering your cup to someone who is a king of cup equal. Okay. These cards are making me so sad today. All right. Let's get some romance angels for you, please. Romance angel advice for Taurus. Romance angel advice for Taurus. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, I wonder whether there's some control issues and that's why you're... There's definitely something in this new person that you've seen before. Um, and it's it's making you really nervous because it took you a, quite a while to heal. You've only just kind of got back to yourself, um, which could be why you let it go at the moment. All right, Taurus, that's what I've got for you. Thank you for joining. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Hit the notification button because I will be right back here in a couple of days for the weekly. So I will see you then. Talk to you soon. Bye.